Hey guys, what's going on? Tonight we're talking about boat rigging and more specifically powering your electronics and setting up the boat properly. I'm running three graphs on this boat right now and fixing to add more. And the beauty about the system that I have is that it'll be able to handle the addition of multiple graphs. Let's face it, in today's world, electronics, we depend on them. And for them to function at their peak, everything needs to be set up just right so that you get the most out of your investment. And we'll talk about the wiring, but we're gonna start off talking about the battery. And no matter how good your wiring is, if you have a poor power source that can't deliver the power to the electronics that they need, your system won't work the way you want to. And so in the back of the, my Triton here, I'm actually running five batteries, and one of those is a dedicated lithium battery just for my graphs. And the lithium battery that I'm running is the Linac Lithium True Series. It's a 120 amp hour battery, and it powers my graphs all day long with extra reserve capacity for another day. Now, the beauty of it is, is my graphs are operating at peak performance because they're getting over 13 volts to them constant all day without any voltage drop. So the way I have the back here set up is that I'm actually running my power from a dual circuit uh, switch that feeds my AGM battery as well as my lithium, but it keeps both those batteries separate because I don't want those chemistries mixing. But I'm using one switch to turn on the power for my whole boat. And from there, I'm actually running six gauge marine wire and six gauge is a little bit overkill but that's exactly what i want to be able to handle the addition of more graphs down the line to this system so the six gauge runs directly from the switch that's connected to my battery to the front of the boat and as we move to the front of the boat that's kind of where everything branches off and we'll get right into that so right now we're in the starboard rod locker in my Triton. And this is where that six gauge wire feeds into. And it actually runs into a Blue Sea fuse block. And it's a 12 port fuse block. I have lots of room for expansion down the line. And everything is nicely labeled. We have good uh, sealed marine connections. And from the fuse block, we're running 10 gauge, again, marine wire to each unit. And it's important that each unit gets its own wire so we're not splitting it up we're not trying to carry a load to multiple graphs through one run and the 10 gauge is a shorter run it's a thinner wire than the six gauge so we want to make sure that our shorter run is done with the thinner wires and that ensures that we don't have any voltage drop on any of these units at the back if we were to put a voltmeter on the battery it, it'll read 13.2 volts at the fuse block, we're also reading 13.2, and at each unit, we're consistently getting 13.2 and over 13 volts all day long, ensuring that the units are working at their fullest capacity. So there you have it, guys. That's how I rig my Triton so that my graphs function at their peak capacity. We're running a lithium battery, very important to do that. If you want a dedicated electronics battery, we're running proper wiring. We have six gauge coming from the back to the fuse block dedicated to our graphs here and then splitting off with 10 gauge. It really doesn't have to be complicated. Just make sure you get the proper wire, get the proper power source. You do all your connections, heat shrink them so no moisture gets in and you'll notice your graphs performing a lot better. They'll operate smoother, faster, and your images are gonna be a lot clearer. So hopefully this helps you guys rig your new boat or your new to you boat with all the newest toys that you got. And we'll chat with you later.